Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I often get asked how much does all of the gear inside of my no build minivan camper weigh? So in today's video, we are going to find out. To get ready for today's video, I have already emptied out the minivan. I'm going to weigh the van empty. Then I'm going to put all of my camping equipment back in and weigh it full. As you can see with none of my stuff in here, this van is huge inside. I'm actually surprised how much room is in here because I normally keep my bed, my mini fridge, my power station, my little kitchen stand, all those things in here, they're all out right now. The only thing that remains is these two folding seats in the back. So I'll get a pretty accurate idea of how much a no-build minivan camper conversion like this Toyota Sienna will weigh. So I wasn't expecting it to rain today, but it's been raining off and on. I did manage to get everything out without getting it wet, but when I put it in later, I am gonna wait until it clears up just to make sure that I don't, you know, accumulate any moisture in my gear. I don't want my mattress to get soggy and wet. I've got to get my empty weight with a full tank of gas and my full weight with a full tank of gas. And that'll give me a pretty consistent measure of how much stuff I actually put into the van for the camper setup. Getting around 20 miles per gallon according to this thing. All right, so we're here at the Flying J. There's a pilot, so it's funny, the. The trucks here say Flying J on them, but we're at a pilot truck stop and we're gonna go up and get our empty weight. How you doing, boss? First time being here? Empty weight, yep. Is there a license number or anything you'd like me to put, boss? M. Uh, All right, those folks, go come inside for me now, please. Okay, thank you. I mean, it stopped raining right on time for us to pull up. <laughs> All right, boss. So when you come back, I know you've never done it. Just give me the ticket numbers, okay. and it'll be three dollars once you come back. So okay. that's all. Thank you so much. No problem, boss. I got you right. Okay guys, so I've got the vehicle weighed. It costs $12.50 for the weigh ticket, and the van empty weighs 4,300 pounds. That scale is accurate to about 20 pounds, and it'll cost me $3 to get my reway once I get everything put back in the vehicle. So I'm gonna take this chance while everything's out to go ahead and vacuum out the entire inside of the van. It's been a while, and with my trip coming up this summer, I'm not sure when the next chance I will have to clean it out is and so well that's probably good enough steel bed frame fits perfectly and this thing is a tight fit but once it's in there it helps kind of prevent the bed from sliding forward and it makes a great surface to put my mini fridge on mini fridge and all this stuff is a tight fit but the fridge opens good good all right we have the massive Wopez 1100 which is almost the same as the Wopez 1200 portable power station. I like to keep that right there. And so I can plug in my fridge and then I'll also run the, the cable here. And this just goes right over here. The good thing about that being hooked up like that is if anything pulls on the cable, it'll disconnect instead of rip or break anything. All right, so my crate, keep that little power bank right there. And this is my foot that I use for the bed. I'm actually gonna put a new foot in. So I keep this foot right here to keep the bed from sliding down into this little crack when I'm on it. And so what I'm gonna do is just make a new one. Nothing too fancy. You'd be surprised, but having that right there keeps the bed from moving. Doesn't go anywhere when I'm sleeping on it. 
Besides that, the frame is awesome. For this trip, I am gonna leave this seat down. Normally I keep this seat up so I can enjoy it, but I am gonna be traveling heavy because I'm moving, I'm leaving the state, I'm moving to another state. And so I wanna have room to put my bicycle in here so that when I get to you know places that I'm gonna stop, I have my bicycle that I can ride. This shelf with all of its stuff in it is probably one of the heaviest things. All that extra space from having that up. Oh, I like that. Look at all this room now. Rearranging this a little bit gave me a lot more space. So one issue with keeping that back seat down is I'm realizing that that was actually like my trunk space. Some of the things I kept in there, even with the seat down, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to leave that stuff. So as I pack it in tight, hopefully everything will find a perfect spot. I pretty much need to keep everything that I have with me. I can't really offload too many things because I'll either be offloading some kind of safety equipment or some kind of comfort equipment. Usually I would keep a spare portable power station in this passenger seat compartment right here. But since I have the Wopez 1200, I don't necessarily need that. So I'm gonna keep this tire inflator, jumper cables, and then also just this little chair. This is a folding camp chair. It'll probably come in handy this summer. One of the issues with not having that seat up in the back is normally I wedge this in between the seat right there. It sits fine, but now that that's not there, that poses another kind of problem for me. For now, I'm just gonna set this up here. I'll readdress that once I get everything else in. So I got one of my little camp stoves. Slide perfectly in there. Camp, another camp chair, which this may not make the cut today. Something I can't do without is the luxurious throw rug so that I can relax my feet when I'm traveling. The mattress, between this and the bed frame, these two things make all this so much fun. The sheet is still holding up pretty good. I wash it occasionally. It's starting to get a little like funky looking, but I think it'll last me another year at least. Pillow, and of course the Cheetah Leopard camo sleeping bag. I just keep all this stuff here. Some people don't like sleeping bags, but I like it because I can either be in it or under it or on top of it. All right, so this is my front curtain. I usually just slide it here. It's not a big inconvenience because when I'm sleeping, I usually put it up for the privacy. So it sits there on the bed when I'm not using it, and then it goes up for privacy. For now, I'll slide this here. I have this massive solar panel on the roof of the van, but I still like to keep one of these folding panels so that I can hang out in the shade and then run this into the van so I don't have to move stuff around. Great spot for it. The Instant Pot. This thing has definitely made itself a home in my van because it works great with the Wopez. I can cook a meal really quickly with it. So I've got my stealth shades and those things still perfectly down in here when not in use. Almost have everything in the van now. So I got a couple of finishing touches here. This is my two person sleeping bag. Love this thing. I probably will end up using this as I get maybe more cozy or overly packed. And with that, sometimes I use this little air mattress. So there's kind of a complete like sleep system for outside. And don't forget the world famous subscribe button. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and look below and please do subscribe if you enjoy my content. Some cables, these actually go in here just to kind of rat's nest. I should organize it a little better. In that rat's nest is a, a charger for the 12 volt for the Wopez. Okay, this is a tire plug kit. I have about 20 plugs. I have the pliers and all the stuff that I need to do that. That goes in the back there. Double bag so I don't lose anything. Something new I'm gonna try is this citronella candle. So I'll keep that a little more accessible. And there's my two goal zero. I'm not sure if the bicycle will fit in here even with those seats down. So this is where I'm gonna put my suitcase with all my clothes in it. I'm gonna estimate that that's about 100 pounds. I'm not gonna throw it in right now because I'm still using it. I think I'm ready to go get this thing weighed. And since I don't have anything back here yet, I'll go ahead and pull up this back seat. Good. Okay, so we're back at the pilot to do our full weight. Hopefully the scale is still open and it's not raining today. So it's a really beautiful day to be doing this. First one we weigh. Uh, it's a first weigh. Track the numbers or what numbers would you like on the ticket? M. 
Okay, you're good. You can come in. Thank you. So we got the ticket and one thing that I want to talk about is the gross vehicle weight rating. This vehicle is rated for 5,995 pounds total. So yesterday when I did the empty weight, it was 4,300 pounds and that gives me 2,700 pounds of additional cargo that I can carry inside of the vehicle and that's if I max it out. So the total weight of the no build minivan camper with all of my gear in it minus some things which i'll discuss in a second is 4620 pounds so that scale weighs the vehicle with no passengers in it that is 320 pounds of gear so all the stuff you saw me add into the camper earlier is just 320 pounds but that's not really the full picture you would also want to consider the 200 pounds that i weigh then you would want to consider probably about 100 pounds of clothing and maybe other accessories. Then you would wanna add maybe another 100 pounds for food and water. Water is really heavy, so even if you're carrying like five gallons, that's like 40 pounds. So I think if you add at a minimum another 400 pounds to that, then we're hitting about 5,000 pounds total the way we were set up right now. So that would give me a lot more room to add more stuff. I don't really need to carry much more equipment in my no-build minivan camper. If you want to find out more about minivan camping, watch this video right here, and I'll see you on my next adventure. Mm -hmm.